beaten and bloodied over candy. A fight over Halloween treats leaves a New Jersey father behind bars. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. The dad is accused of breaking into a home and going after two boys who were fighting with their son, or C with his son, rather. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has more now from Wayne on this story that's new at 5.30. It's a neighborhood full of children, and on Halloween night, everyone was out and about. 200 kids in this neighborhood. It came Halloween night. There was a block party and regular trick-or-treaters, but there was also this. They seen an ambulance and a police car. Around 9 o'clock Friday night, police say this man, Darius Bacoge, took matters into his own hands when he told them his 11-year-old son got into a fight with two other neighborhood boys ages 12 and 13, over candy. He allegedly went right in the front door of the house, opened the door himself, went inside, caused some damage in the house, allegedly pushed one of the juveniles down to the ground. A next door neighbor says he heard the kids screaming. He says they ran outside and hid behind him. He didn't want to appear on camera, but says when Bakoj came outside, he tried to calm him down, but Bakoj came at him three times, so he says he hit him back in self defense. You can see the abrasions on Bakoja's face in his mugshot. Police say he also appeared intoxicated. When he was here, did he express any remorse for what happened? No, not that I'm aware of. Police say Bakoj was taken from his jail cell to St. Joseph's Hospital in Wayne, where he was treated. He posted $35,000 bail and was released. No one answered at his home today, not far from where the fight happened. And because this neighborhood is so tight, many who witnessed it all are reluctant to appear on camera. I'm shocked this happened in this neighborhood. I didn't think it could. Pakoj will next appear in municipal court to face charges of burglary, criminal mischief, and simple assault. In Wayne, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. The homeowners did not want to appear on camera, but they tell us a picture frame and crystal ornament were broken. As for the three young boys, they told us they ride the bus together, and so far there have not been any other issues.